Basic laser setup. We'll start with the contents of the box. Laser unit, three laser safety glasses specific to this wavelength. Laser handpiece, autoclavable, any kind of sterilizer. Cleaving ceramic scissors, keys, laser fiber, power supply, power supply cord, foot pedal, foot pedal plug, micro stripper for the fiber, micro stripper tools for changing the blades. This is a interlock required by FDA which we won't use. Tips, cannula tips which are cold sterilized or disposable whichever you like comes with 25. Articulating paper for activating the tip which we'll get to. You can also use a sharpie. Foot pedal plug into the foot pedal into the machine right here. Simple plug. Power supply, power supply unit, cord into here, power supply cord into the unit right here. All lasers, FDA requirement, have to have a key. Insert it at the 9 o'clock position, turn it to the 12 o'clock position, it has to stay in the laser. We'll turn on the laser like so. Installation of the fiber. Unwrap it and straighten it out. If you crimp it, you're going to break it. The fiber comes with a cap, protective cap, which you're going to want to take off and save, and a cap for the port lens. We take the fiber, fit it on, screw it on finger tight. Now we're going to want to wrap this fiber around the top plate counterclockwise. You're going to hear little clicks that holds the fiber in place. We want this fiber to extend out the back a good two to three inches like this. If we crimped it real tight, it's going to break it. Now we want to unwrap enough of this fiber to reach our patient. I'm going to show you how to use the micro stripper. You'll notice there's a, a blue protective jacket. The center, that's the actual fiber. In between each patient, your staff is going to take the ceramic bladed scissors and they are in a perpendicular uh, cut, shear off about two millimeters. Now eventually, uh, we're going to need some fiber extended outside the jacket. The stripper, micro stripper, these are the blades, little channel. We're going to extend this in we're going to strip off approximately one inch. It doesn't have to be exact. We're going to pinch it down and then you give it a hard tug. For the handpiece, we're going to snug on a, uh, a plastic tip. Do not take off this nut because inside the nut there's a little small white pressure fitting that for sure is going to get lost in the office. So we're, we're going to loosen this we're going to feed the fiber through until we have approximately oh five to six millimeters extending beyond the tip and then tighten it down in the handpiece holder like so. We turn on the machine rocker switch right here. Press it on in the front that's an aiming beam. It's not laser energy until you put the foot pedal down it's just an aiming beam. You can adjust the intensity of that aiming beam by pressing the beam button and you can go down. You can turn it all the way off. Some doctors are wearing loops. They don't like that because it's too bright. You can put it, turn it up. Now, continuous wave or pulse mode. If we're going to do a procedure with topical only, like a TAC-20, we recommend the pulse mode. In between each pulse, the tissue has time to cool. If we're going to give an injection, or if it's really tough fibrous tissue. For normal tissue, we're going to set the laser at 1.0 to 1.2. Fibrous tissue, we're going to go 
to, we're going to start at 1.4. We're going to activate the tip. Activating the tip, we want it set at 1 watt. Doesn't matter if it's con continuous or pulsed. Take a piece of articulating paper, which we furnish, or a, a Sharpie, an ordinary Sharpie. We're going to actually touch the paper. It doesn't matter if you touch it before you put the foot pedal down or after, but we're going to touch it and we're going to burn some ink on the end of that fiber tip. That activates it. If you're going to cut tissue, you have to do this. Now, sometimes in a longer procedure, you may stop and recarbonize. Now, it will melt the paper before you get before you touch it. That doesn't do any good. You have to touch it. There are no contraindications for this laser. Nothing harmful, doesn't affect uh, pregnancy, pacemakers, etc. No maintenance at all. There's a three-year warranty. Anything goes wrong, you call me. So to clean the machine, spray it with whatever disinfectant you like, wipe down the fiber, wipe this down, cold sterilize the tip, wipe down or put this in the sterilizer and wipe the fiber. That's it. Now I'm going to demonstrate just laser tissue interaction. Now this apple is a little bit tougher than, than human tissue so I'm actually going to go to 1.5. So I'm going to actually touch the tissue slow and smooth. Not like a blade where we apply pressure and do it in one pass. We're going to vaporize a cell layer at a time till we get down to our desired depth. Now remember we can touch tooth, metal, bone, etc. We cover uncover implants. In the office we'll have suction to collect that plume and um, a, a damp 2x2 two two to wipe off any tissue that might glob on the top. Again, nice and smooth. The slower you move it, the faster it's going to cut. What we don't want is black char. If we've got char, it doesn't hurt the patient, but we can't laser through char. And if you have to go over an incision several times, we'd have to stop, wipe off the black char. So the idea is to use the least amount of power to get the job done. In, in between each patient, we're going to change the tip, clean the handpiece, Take these scissors, shear off about two millimeters, wipe it down, clean it, fresh tip, extend it out, tighten it down, ready for the next patient. And like I mentioned earlier, after about oh, 10 or 12 cleaves, it's time to strip off another end. If you're going to transport this laser, you're going to want to put this the cap back in the port and the back of the laser like I mentioned right here with the fiber and you're going to want to put this on the fiber and we want to disconnect it like so we don't have to unwrap it but we're going to, we can disconnect it put this on and that's how we'll move it